you can't have your head explode every time somebody does something you disagree with, Representative Chris Stewart, R. Utah, said during an interview on the latest episode of the News Pulse News podcast Skullduggery. Stewart's comments came just as the GOP majority on the Intelligence Committee was preparing to release its report saying it had found no evidence of collusion between Trump and the Kremlin relating to the 2016 presidential campaign. Stewart said Trump was just wrong to call Putin and congratulate him on his re-election over the objections of his own national security aides, who wrote talking points for him with the words, do not congratulate. I don't think there is any chance in the world this was a free and fair election, Stewart said about the voting in Russia. They were stuffing ballots in every location. Vladimir Putin intends to be there for a long, long time. But Stewart, a former Air Force pilot and novelist before being elected to Congress, was extremely reluctant to openly criticize the president for his phone call or his dealings with Russia. Stewart noted that Trump has taken other steps that could deter Putin, such as increasing the Pentagon budget and pushing NATO countries to live up to their commitment to spend 2% of their gross national product on defense. He added, we can ride this horse as long as you want. But the evidence is pretty clear that it's not going to take people to the impeachment of Donald Trump, nor other people around him. The Utah Republican said that because such witnesses have pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI about their contacts with Russians and are now cooperating in the probe being conducted by special counsel Robert Mueller, the Intelligence Committee has not had access to them. We can talk to these people, he said. Similarly, Stewart said, he saw no need to subpoena documents from other witnesses, such as longtime Trump lawyer Michael Cohen who has denied allegations made by former British spy Christopher Steele that Cohen had met with Russians in Prague during the 2016 election. Of Cohen, Stewart said, I have no reason to doubt his credibility. More skullduggery from News Pulse News.